There he is. Hey, what's up? How, How you are you doing, boss? Good, good. So we've done two episodes without Gabe Dean. Gabe, what have you been doing down here in Texas, man? Well, since uh, I was retired for the last three and a half, four years, I uh, I didn't have really any credentials under my belt to qualify me for the uh, the Olympic trials. I hadn't competed in anything, so they put this tournament week before the Olympic trials called the last chance qualifier and the top two guys, um, you know, get to, co- the top two guys from each weight class get to compete at the Olympic trials. So I had to go and uh, that was step number one. So. so I actually had my cheap meal on Saturday night. We went to this uh, place that Coach Cole found it's called the Stockyards. It's like a, and it's got everything going on there, but pretty much this big barbecue place. Um, and I had a little bit of, uh, my stomach's kind of shrunk, you know, I've shrunk my body, so I, I can't eat as much as I used to, thankfully. Um, so I got a big old thing of brisket and then I got a pork chop and a piece of corn and uh, some other like little vegetables in there. And uh, I got done with the brisket and I could barely touch the pork chop, but man, that brisket was unbelievable. And then, and then on top of that, I, uh, my brother and I, we went and got some ice cream. We're big ice cream advocates. So we, uh, we found a place down here and um, went and got some ice cream afterwards. It's funny, like when you go to the grocery store and you're cutting weight, and uh, like I said, I've shrunk my body over the past probably month and a half, two months, so like pretty low. But, so I don't really feel this way anymore. But I, uh, when you're first getting that descent down and you're first starting to really shrink, you go to the grocery store and pretty much everything that you look at looks good. You're like, you're looking at like, you know, canned corn and you're just thinking about, man, they even drinking that corn juice would taste delicious, you know, or you're looking at, and I don't like tomato juice. Some people do, but like tomato juice sounds good. Just anything. I cra- I think I crave more fluids than anything. Fluids are my thing. I don't know. Food, food is, uh, is great and all, but like f- fluids, man, like this, that's the thing you want the most when you're cutting weight. Uh, so I'm Evan Henderson, um, wrestled for North Carolina, and then uh, through a long journey, I ended up at Spartan Combat RTC in Ithaca. Um, obviously, uh, Rob Cole's a alumni at UNC, and so am I, and we had that connection. And uh, last uh, the, a summer when uh, the pandemic hit and everything like that, I uh, was let go out of, out of my current RTC position in New York, and um, I was looking for a new home and he was, uh, I guess, gracious enough, kind enough. And he's like, he knew me, he knew, knows my story, knows what kind of worker I am. And he's like, yeah, come on up. So, you know, I was at New York City at their training center for a year and a half, two years. I was um, at Wisconsin for before that. Then I was uh, uh, down at Campbell, you know, and um, going through these different places it's like always getting someplace new have to reacclimate and all that stuff getting to know people there and it's like but like and then obviously from this long journey from not making it and then getting let go from that program and then not necessarily knowing it's 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 like um from the low, like I, I posted a little thing uh, on Instagram, it's like from the lowest to the highs, it's this amazing journey, you know, this, play, this, this wrestling takes you on the crazy. And uh, I just remember the, one of the first things I said after, uh, like to coach um, Cole was like, thank you for giving me this opportunity to wrestle for you guys and having me come up and, and uh, give me a home, you know, because not a lot of people uh, were in the giving mood during the pandemic, to say at least. It's not that they uh, didn't want to, but they just, just the situation, they couldn't, you know. Uh, today, we're trying to get Ahad his his, his, credentials. his credentials because it's testing. We tested for, we did our COVID test on for Sunday. Mine came through, but evidently his, uh, his, uh, his, his, Persian lion blood, blood is just too strong. I can't get the results back because we're still waiting uh, three days later. And he's freaking out because he's afraid he's not going to get credentialed. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to do. Guys went and got some food. Mikey Gray took him down and got some food. And uh, and then at 2 o'clock, we go over and work out. So big day, big day. What was your first thoughts when Gabe uh, announced his coming out of retirement? I was so happy. We were talking about it on his day, but it was like... He wasn't sure, but I think he's very smart. He realized that 
the environment we have over there, he, you know, he should take advantage of it, and he did. And uh, he, I was just talking to him a couple of days ago regarding to this, and he said he's glad. He said he's very, you know, glad had made a decision to come back, and he's very, very in a good, uh, what is the name, situation, position right now, and he's very excited, and I think he's gonna, he's gonna do wonders. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's fun to watch. I mean, I've never seen seen our club wrestle better. Um, and, you know, for me specifically, the person I'm down here with most is, is Gabe. So and I've, he wrestled great last weekend and um, weight's good, looking super sharp. And I think he's just really excited to let it fly, see what happens. All the work's gone at this point. It's just about staying sharp and uh, not spending too much energy on, on things you can't control. So I think goofing around a lot and just making sure everybody gets their body to the right place and staying as rested as you can and just trying to enjoy it, right? Just, People have put in a lot of work to get get these guys here and be in this moment, so it'd be a shame not to enjoy it. Oh, Javon, no! They're ready, they are eager, they are hungry, they are ready. They are ready. Very. They are having fun, they are enjoying it. I can see their spirit. Just, it's just unbelievable.